Hey guys, no time for a real intro today. Gotta get out on the water, have wing coil here set up. Here with my babes. That's Blanca. Coda over there. Hey Coda. Hello. And my wife Maria. Hi. She's gonna go out later. Yeah. It's marine wind. Now it feels like 18 knots or so. All right, that was an eventful day for sure. We went to this place, Rossillon, south of Canet in France. So I went to this, this beach that we'd never been to and it was between 12 to 15 knots, I believe mostly in the gusts in the beginning, maybe even 18. Had a fun session. It, it was choppy, but I'm used to that. So no, no issues with that. And yeah, I was quite happy about progress with the tack. As I was like getting ready to go back, I fell down once and the strap to the board came off. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a repeating story for me. This has happened to me before. Before it failed more on the connection to my harness. This time the connection to the board failed. You have this little string that I did attach according to the instructions from Gong. But these knots that you put in there, they're not bomb proof and they can loosen up over time which i had to learn the hard way of course in chub with waves rolling in i was really close to the board i was almost i almost got it back right away but it was literally a question of centimeters that i couldn't grab it and then a wave pushed it away and then it started accelerating with the waves and then i did a technique that i recently learned from one of you guys in the comments that um, you put your wing down with the front strut to the front and the main strut towards the back and then you lift up the the main strut with your hand and then you let the the wing drag you downwind and you try to swim with your feet especially when i went really sideways with my whole body high up i think that that technique worked i was definitely much faster than what i would have been just you know swimming myself with the wing depowered but I wasn't fast enough to get to the board. I was keeping up with it, but I couldn't close the gap. I lost like 20 minutes and then had to go back upwind um, to, to get back to my family on the beach. And then the big issue that came afterwards, unfortunately, was we were parked close to the beach and we parked there with our trailer. Um, we have a new trailer that we use for all of our windsurfing and wing foiling gear when we go on vacation. Brand new. <laughs> We're really excited about it. It's really useful. I put a little extra lock in the connector to make sure no one messes with it. But that's exactly what happened. Just in these in this short time span probably of me being on the water, someone must have been spotting me, I guess. They were messing with it and trying to steal it and they broke off some parts there in the front and tried to force this extra lock out of this connector. Lucky, lucky, lucky me, lucky us. 
they were unsuccessful with their attempts. We dodged a bullet there. But yeah, um, it teaches you a lesson. Um, be super careful with your vehicles uh, parked in beach parkings. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.